rated TVP tier for cable power. basically sharing the fame, essentially, is what I'm doing, because I'm giving everybody else a spotlight. I don't really need the spotlight if I can't get it on my own. But here is a deviant named Lily Blossom 505 also known by her real name, her first name is Jordan first, and let's just say that she has a very unique art style and a very talented kind of wit about her that makes her very unique as an artist even though she's only been on DA since, I don't know, September 10th, 2016, so the day before the 15th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. So, yeah, she's been on DeviantArt for, over, for almost a year and a half now. Actually, over a year and a half, I should say. Well, I lied. A year and five months and 12 days. But anyway, let's get to it, huh? Let's get to it. So here's what we have here. We have a gallery that is chock full of potential. So full of potential, in fact, it's enough to blow your mind completely out of the water. And... And here are some people who commented on her gallery. Actually, there's only one person who commented on her gallery. It's it's another person who, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously gonna... You already know who this person is, because the username is right there. <laughs> By the way, let's just, let's get back to the point. Her first artworks were very, very indicative of the art style that she would eventually adopt. And it also goes without saying that she has a very unique kind of talent about her that makes her stand out, for the most part, in ways that most people are probably never going to understand unless of course, they share her talents, and they understand her in the way that I do. But of course, I'm an understanding—I'm an understanding and easygoing person, anyway. Um, by the way, don't don't even worry about my mispronouncing of the word understanding. <laughs> I'm trying to sound like Hitler. Are you? Nah, I'm not gonna say that. But let me just say this: I looked through her gallery. Just like I am now, I find that she's got a really special style about her. A part of it has a few backgrounds of which are based on photographs. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that, though, because any background is better than, you know, say, a default, like a transparent one. But even with a default background, with a transparent background, I should say, or a white background in general, her art still looks quite impressive. You know? Now, I don't know if she has lots of experience in this art thing or not, but she definitely shows that for the most part in some aspects she is far beyond her years in terms of wisdom of understanding i mean just 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 look at this first artwork that she did let's let's take a look back at her first artwork and see here the first drawing that she made 
Of course, the base edit was, of course, done by another user who she is friends with. Of course, you already know who it is now because you've seen it. You've seen the username. But this was her very first submission submitted on Halloween of 2016. Now, let's take a look at the difference, huh? How about that? Let's take a look at the difference in between October 31st of 2016 and some of her later works, her most recent works, I mean, now. So, from October the 31st, 2016 to now, she went from something like that, mind you, and she turned it into something like this. That's amazing, isn't it? And she mostly taught herself. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, she just taught herself. She knew the art form and it's best and that's that and that isn't it I mean I think that sums it up perfectly now I don't know about you guys but Jordan here has got it she's definitely got that special art style that a person looks for in her in in a typical art gallery I mean I don't know if, if if there were any suggestions that I could give at this point, maybe maybe Jordan could possibly try photography. Because she's already shown me that she's good at making a photography-based background. But what about actual photograph taking? Like, like you know, selfies or landscape, landscape shots, you know, from a camera or, or a webcam or whatever. Yeah, I mean... Seriously though, yeah. Also, I'd like to point out that there's a guy on here who was, who's my age, well, I, I was his age 10 years ago, but his, his name, his username is Antipainter14, which the, the number 14 indicates that, of course, he's a teenager, but this guy over the last seven some odd months has come up with quite a unique gallery of almost 200 deviations. I say almost because he's one short, but I'm just going to point out the facts. This guy has been a deviant artist since July the 8th, 2017, so roughly I would say seven months. Now this guy is, from my understanding, what I was 10 years ago, so I'm basically looking into my self 10 years ago, and it's almost as if he's looking into the future, you know, but, ah, never mind. Let's just get to the point, right? Let's get to the point. Let's get straight to it. Right. So... His first, you know, his his first deviation, of course, goes back to about, I would say, late July, possibly mid-July, possibly a bit earlier, a bit later. I mean, I don't know, man. But this guy, let me tell you, he identifies himself under the initial CH. But let me tell you. His first deviation, because, oh, by the way, he's a brony. You know, I know a lot of bronies on DeviantArt. This first particular thing that he did, July, actually on the very first day that he joined. So I guess I was right about it being early in July. So, this is his first deviation submitted on the very same day that he joined DeviantArt. It actually looks pretty good, honestly. For, for someone who, 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 who's still very young and has a long life ahead of him and whatnot, but anyway, back to the point. I notice here that 
just based on his on his gallery and whatnot, he has evolved very neatly in the last seven plus months since joining this site and submitting his first deviation on July the 8th. Of course, this is of course his latest work, a gift for one of his friends, an art gift for one of his friends. And this was submitted almost a day ago to the exact minute. Notice the style, the, the different changes in style between seven months ago and now. And I'm, I'm just going to say it. This guy has that it factor. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. I mean, there's no question. For someone who is 14 years old and has a long, long life ahead of him, this guy draws legitimately like a boss. And I can say that certainly because I know it for sure. Because I know good art when I see it. Especially if it's shaded in this in this form, in this fashion. You know? Look, look at the shades right there. And... I'm serious though, this guy is just, it's mind blowing how talented this guy is. And I, I know that he might be using a couple bases here and there to, to come up with his work, and that's completely understandable. I don't mind that a bit, you know? But I guess that's what makes him so unique as an artist. Because you know, in my mind, there's no such thing as a bad artist. You know? No such thing. Come to think of it. Yeah, um. Anyways, let's just. Let's point out the facts. This guy. His art style is wonderful. He's got a special kind of whimsicality about his style. His art technique is quite unique. He's got that kind of flair in his art style, and he works with poses quite well, I should say. Very, very, very well. And that's saying a lot, now isn't it? That really is saying a lot. And I can say that certainly, without any question or doubt in my mind. So, oh, look at this. Dragon Ball Z reference. Yeah. You know, I could... Just imagine, just just imagine for once, someone going full on Super Saiyan God on you. I mean, could you imagine that? I know this because I've been a, I've been a Dragon Ball Z fan for as long as I can remember, save for the few years that I got out of the fandom because all this stuff happened in my life, but. But this is just incredible. Look at this. I mean, I get that's a white background, but, but look at this. The sheer geniusness of the way in which this was made. You know, the, the sparkles, the facial expression, the pose. Seriously, though, this is good. This really is good. Absolutely. Oh, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Power up emoji for the win. Anyway, that's going to do it. And with that, I conclude this episode of Reaching Out. And I encourage all of you to stay tuned because there's going to be more in the future. And with that, until next time, I'll see you in cyberspace. Good night, God bless, and get the hell out.